Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about edit the brand. So let's see how can we edit the brand. First of all, uh, go to the admin controller, so switch to the project and let's open the admin controller. So go inside the app directory, then HTTP controllers and let's open admin controller. And here, uh, after this, let's create here a new function public function and function name uh, let's say function name is brand underscore edit and inside this function just pass here one parameter which is dollar id okay and uh, now uh, let's fetch the brand according to the id so right here brand model okay and then column column find dollar id and now just return to the view admin dot brand edit okay and also pass this brand uh, this brand to the view file okay so inside the compact just right here brand and now let's create the route for this uh, function so let's copy this function name and go to the web.php routes web.php and inside the admin route group just right here this one admin then uh, brand edit and pass one parameter which is id okay and also we have the route name admin dot brand dot edit okay brand uh, brand edit uh, let's change the function name so copy and paste here this one and now save this now go to the brands uh, blade.php file view file so in the resources directory views admin and let's open this one brands.blade.php and here you can see here the edit icon okay so inside this anchor tag just add here route and route name which is this one admin brand edit so let's copy this route name and paste here and now just pass here the parameter uh, so right here id and just pass here the brand id so right here dollar brand arrow id now uh, let's create this view so let's copy this and go to the uh, resources uh, views admin and uh, inside this admin folder let's create a new file brand dash edit dot dot php okay and now let's open this one brand add dot dot php file and from here let's select all and copy and now go to the this new view and just paste here okay and just change here the text edit brand and here for displaying the value I will just add here double curly bracket dollar brand arrow name okay and for the slug just right here brand arrow slug and for displaying the image and just add here if directive if dollar brand arrow image then uh, just close this 
interactive in F if brand image has value then just display this image so just add here the path so right here double curly bracket and set and pass here the path of loads slash brands okay and then just pass here the image name brand name so right here brand brand image name okay brand arrow image and now from here just remove this style this menon okay now save this now go to the admin controller and here let's create another function after this public function and function name and let's say function name is brand underscore update and inside this just pass in the request and a parameter dollar request and here first to validate the input field so just copy this and paste here now go to the brand edit view and here let's add one input hidden field so just write here input type is equal to hidden and set the name is equal to id and value is equal to dollar brand arrow id and now just close this and now inside the admin controller let's page here the brand brand is equal to brand colon colon find dollar request arrow id okay now let's copy this line and paste here now change here the text brand has been updated okay and before updating the image uh, let's add here the condition if dollar request has file image then uh, let's delete the previous image and uh, before deleting this let's check if file let's import this file so right here let's copy this this one and paste here and just right here illuminate support uh, then facade slash file okay and now here file colon colon and just and just pass here the path so let's copy this one okay and uh, concatenate forward slash and then brand image if image exists then uh, just call here the delete method file colon colon delete and let's copy this path and pass it this one okay now save this
Now let's create the route for this. So we go to the web.php and here let's create another route. This time put and uh, admin slash brand brand slash update okay and now just add here the controller name admin controller controller colon colon class and method name which is this one and then set here the route name which is admin dot brand dot update now let's copy this and go to the brand edit blade.php file and inside this form let's change here the route name and just write here admin brand dot update and after this add the csrf directive just add here the method directive and pass here the put method okay now save this okay now let's check one more time so this is a update okay i did one mistake here let's cut this line and just paste inside this if condition okay now save this now everything is done so save all the file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and then now just click on edit all right now let's change here the brand name uh, let's say three okay now cl click on save and you can see here ms uh, uh, brand name updated now let's update the image also so click on edit and uh, this time so let's change the image click on save and here is the error the slug okay uh, for avoiding this i'll just go to the brand update method and inside this validation just add here comma and then dollar request arrow id okay now save this and now try one more time so just refresh the page and update the image click on save and now you can see brand has been updated successfully so in this way you can edit the brand so that's all about editing the brand so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching